this is a sad day, you guys. This is so, so sad. And if my voice started trembling a little bit, it's because I'm getting a little emotional by watching this. Um, do Protect black women. Protect black men as well. Y'all heard bloggers come up here and give their commentary verbatim on what happened. The ones that stood in the courtroom and came back and reported to us what happened in the courtroom because the ones that was not able to make it. Y'all heard the witness, Sean Kelly. Kelsey lied. Megan lied. Even y'all seen when Chelsea's hairstylist EJ came up there and said what happened. He, Sean Kelly said that Kelsey had shot Megan. They was fighting. Kelsey said there was no fight. It was a bump. What kind of bump y'all was doing when he, on his own mouth, said that they was fighting viciously? It was five bullets. Three of them was shot out of Kelsey's hand and two was shot in the air when Tori had the gun fighting over the gun with Megan, the Megan Stallion and Kelsey. Justice was not fair today for this verdict. I'm not taking Tori's side and I'm not taking Megan Stallion's side. I'm just saying y'all need to do better because this right here was not fair at all. I'm sorry what happened to Megan Stallion that night. I am really am sorry that what happened to this black woman but at the end of the day god knows the truth he sits high and he looks low and he knew what happened and i hope megan and her team can sleep well at night knowing that they finna possibly put this black man to jail for 22 years of his life Megan, you were sleeping with your best friends. Can't say it was her boyfriend. You were sleeping with this with her best. You were sleeping with your best friends. Peace. EJ testified to that. He dropped you off a few times. He felt safe with you going over there. This is not right, you guys, and it breaks my heart. The sun star that is um they started Tory Lane's dad the emotions how he, he that part right there that broke me all the way down and also his son speaking this right here is is I watch a lot of court cases and watching court cases from beginning to end and I say. That person deserved to get locked up. In this case, Tori Delaney does not deserve to get locked up at all. At all. <sighs> this is sad, 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 sad. Those who have access to the transcripts, go read them on your own time. This was a shit show from the beginning to the end. And my prayers go out to Tory Lanez and his family, especially his father. Let's get into it, you guys. At this moment, you guys, I am getting this from Black Tea Block. So shout out to her. Shout out to Black Tea Block. Your sacrifice is appreciated. What? 
You mean to tell me what? that a woman lying? What? Internet? Ooh, Jesus. It's a, you guys, people are, people are either on Tory side or Megan's side. I'm not on either right. one side. I'm on the go ahead truth and side. You guys about what the DA just said. All right, you guys, the DA has just released a statement. So let's read the DA's statement. All right. All right. Here's the DA. Okay. So the DA just released a statement, and the DA said this. I want to start by highlighting. The bravery of Megan P. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. My God. My God. My fucking God. Braver <laughs> bravery. You showed incredible courage and vulnerability with your testimony, despite repeated and grotesque attacks that you did not deserve. You faced unjust and despicable scrutiny that no woman should ever have to face. You have been an inspiration to others across LA County and the nation. Women, especially black women, are afraid to report crimes like assault and violence because they are too often not believed. This trial for the second time this month highlighted the numerous ways that our society must do better for women. I'd also like to thank the jurors for their time and thoughtful deliberation and our trial team for their tireless pursuit of the truth. You spent countless hours away from your families during the holiday season preparing this case and finding justice for Megan. Your sacrifice is appreciated. Damn. That's what he said. Okay. He said, Rock Nation, you will crumble. And you will know who I am. Wow, wow, wow. And Alex bought. They met on Saturday before. They met, they met with all the witnesses. Night. And then the man came back. And I back. said. You want to know exactly how I'm feeling? Yes, I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witnessed the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You want to know how I feel? Yes. I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I want to call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole wicked system of Rock Nation, including you, Jay-Z. Yes, yes. You who say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and charted the souls of young men, and you're still doing it. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court, and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta and Alex Bart. They met on Saturday before. They met, they on met with our witness, and then the man came back, and I sat in the hallway while he sat with Jody Little, the prosecutor's investigator, who acted so dumb. An intelligent woman who did not want... Listen, I've seen so much evidence buried in this, and I know exactly what the public out here will say. Don't talk. You will say, I say this because I'm a father. See, I am a father of thousands around the world. I am a father of my kids, but a spiritual father to many. And I don't make stupid allegations because i got nothing better to do. You all have been bartering and trading the souls of young black and brown men yes. in this country. And I'm calling on all the umbrellas. I'm calling on everybody in this country 
to begin to rise up because your sons have been done dirty. God does not fail. This is not the I last know time. that this is wickedness. This district attorney, Miss Kathy Todd, is the same one that witnessed or knew that five sheriff's deputies in LA County beat up a Spanish man with the last name Carrillo until the guy was beaten to a, a passed out. ABC News interviewed that man after eyewitness news. And he said, I thought I would never be here to see my child born. And I would never have been able to be around to see my other child rise up. But I'm telling you, this court system is not for justice. It's about wins and losses. And they do dirty to do whatever they can. Jay-Z, let me speak to you. He has kids. Rock let me Nation. talk to you. Yes. Because my son refused to sign a Rock yes, Nation yes. deal with you. And Desiree Perez, you wicked witch, you snitch. Yes. You turned on your coast conspirators or the whole mafia one of you that was peddling drugs in this country and you rolled on them before so the Fed to give you a deal. All of you, trust me, I have intercessors, prayer warriors around the world and they will not stop until you down. are cut off. Yes. Yes. No, we don't shoot you with guns but we know exactly how to bring you down in the spirit. They all have children. It's all done. Open way, open way, open way, guys. Open up, open up, open up. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is something else. He has went off on Rock Nation, Desi Perez, and Jay-Z. We have, we wonder how come this was an open court for everybody to view. People was able to go sit in. It was open to the public. How come they viewed it on TV? Even though this was a high profile case. They, with Tasha K and Cardi B, that was an open case as well. I don't know why this wasn't open to the public to view it as it was going on. But... Tory Lane's father. Tory Lane's father. I lost my father. I lost both my fathers. And I wish they was here with me today. If I was in a situation and I didn't have not neither one of my fathers. One, but I don't have n neither one of my fathers. I wouldn't be able to make it. Tory Lane's has a strong father. He's a god fearing man. He's a god Fear man. He lost his mother. And just imagine his mother sitting here hearing what's, what went on. Knowing that these people are lying on her son. I'm not saying that Tory Lanez is innocent of everything, but he damn sure is not guilty of shooting that one man. Traded and tortured the souls of young men, and you're still doing it. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta and Alex Bart. They met on Saturday before. They met, they on Saturday. met with our Saturday witness. Night. And then the man came. And again, you guys, those who view my content no way as a black woman as a black woman born and raised in the southern states of Louisiana knowing how racist that the south can be as a black woman no way am I I'm up here saying that I stand with Tory Lane I stand with truth of justice Meg Thee Stallion did not tell her truth her whole truth. Kelsey did not stand in her truth. Tell her truth and her whole truth. So don't get me twisted when I'm up here saying 
justice for Tory Lanez. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying justice for the truth. I'm not standing. I'm not standing with Megan, and I'm not standing with Tory. I'm standing with the truth, and like I said before, God sits high. He looks low. He knows that this right here is not real. This is so messed up on all levels. And I say again, just as for black women, protect black women, protect black men. Back, and I sat in the hallway while he sat with Jody Little, the prosecutor's investigator, who acted so dumb, an intelligent sad. woman who did not want, listen, I've seen so much evidence buried in this. And I know exactly what the public out here will say. Don't talk. You will say, I say this because I'm a father. See, I am a father of thousands around the world. I am a father of my kids, but a spiritual father to many. And I don't make stupid allegations because I got nothing better to do. You all have been bartering and trading the souls of young black and brown men yes. in this country. And I'm calling on all the umbrellas. I'm calling on everybody in this country to begin to rise up because your sons have been done dirty. Shit. This shit is crazy. As you guys see on the screen, it says Tori's six-year-old son started crying in front of the, the front row after his grandfather was ushered out. Tori Lanes was looking at his son and patted his chest to reassure him. For you guys who don't know that when the um, guilty verdict had um, came, Tori Lane's father stood up like he stood outside and said what he said. Someone had recorded it, but the judge took the guy in the back, and I think he's going to have to delete the um, the film of the recording. He, he, Tory Lane's father had an outburst, as any father should do, or any person should do, mother, auntie, whoever, because this was not right. So that's what, when they said that he was ushered out of the courtroom, he had an outburst in the result of the guilty verdict in this case. I'm not here to tell anybody the flu to the air because he's, he's arguing with you guys know what I mean? They're fighting over the gun. So if Tori is struggling for the gun and he pulls his hand back, his hand would have went in the air, which would also corroborate what the witness saw. Then she said he emptied it. Now listen to this. If Tori Lanes emptied the weapon in the air or on the ground, it would make sense why she has shrapnel in her foot. Wow. I means he would still be guilty of what happened to Megan. Y'all see what I'm saying? And at this point, they all guilty, Shell. <laughs> at this point, all right, you guys, let's listen to what she had to say. Oh, thank you. I'm going to pin this message. Thank you so much, Safu202. Thank you, baby. All right, you guys. All right, quick. 
And when I say right quick, I mean right quick. The way shit going around this motherfucker. Where y'all at? Bitch, my eyelash is sticking up. Bitch, I'm looking around, so I gotta make sure, you know. Oh, so, um, where my, where my bitches from the hood at? Where my bitches from the hood at? Y'all know when we be in church and they put that casket at the front and, and mama know that that's the last time she's going to see her baby, but at the funeral home, not at the graveyard, you know that holla that she let out, you know where you got to go wrap your arms around her? Niggas too. What, what my niggas from the hood at? Anybody. Y'all know how you can, um, how you be in them spaces and they just let out that emotion and it be so fucking charged that you can feel it. We came in, they started at 315. They passed the paper. Y'all got the, y'all got the verdict. Y'all got the verdict. Y'all got the verdict. Yeah. They go. He read all three. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Bitch, we looking like what? You start hearing people break down. All of a sudden, daddy hopped up. He went slapped the fuck off. He directly spoke to the prosecution, Kathy and Bot. Y'all are evil. Y'all are demonic. God will handle this situation. He condemned them. Baby, it, it, you had the people cheering. You had jurors reluctant to say that that was their verdict. Literally. Literally. You got people sitting in the bitch hollering. Agreeing. Like the energy, like just going crazy. Kids crying. People start pulling out their phones because they saying, we don't know what you're going to do to them. Because all these police start trying to come up and get everybody and then like rally and corral everybody. So now niggas is getting into it with security because they said, we don't know what the fuck you're going to do with, to them. Honesty. Not everybody acting truth, a motherfucking fool. We all everybody. Know everybody. Was not served today. They screaming, fuck Rock Nation. They turned around. They told the white reporters, the white outlets that y'all been posting. The only ones y'all care about, the ones that's been pushing y'all narratives, even though we all heard what happened in that courtroom. They turned around and said, Jay-Z is a bitch. Go report that. They screaming, Tori, you free. We praying for you. This is going to be okay. They supporting him. Literally. Absolute chaos. They get the family out. They told everybody else to come out. They sitting in the, uh, we, not everybody in the main highway. Everybody's still going off. I go get the babies. The babies are emotional. One in particular. Until it's okay. It's, you're going to be okay. I wrap my jacket around the babies. I'm bringing them into the fold. You know, that's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And so um, we were able to get on the elevator and go down. When we got downstairs, Tori's father said what he had to say. I'm sure that y'all have probably seen that shit by now. Um, he made his statements, some very powerful statements. And you could hear the people that agreed cheering, 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 cheering. Um, of course, this will be appealed. And I want to say something. How do I feel? I told y'all before, I don't care what the verdict say, because I know what I'm convicted of. Y'all heard what was said in that courtroom. You know that this does not make any sense. You know that. You know that. But you know what? Shit like this got to happen. Because this continues to happen. But it ain't going to be something that people continue to get away with. You push people, push people, push people, push people. Y'all sitting up laughing, saying, ah, he guilty. But when the people that y'all want to buy tickets and the people that y'all want to go to them concerts and when the people that y'all want to support what y'all got going on, when they don't show up, when they don't show up, because they don't fuck with you, because they don't fuck with this, then what? Y'all think y'all won, but you lost. Because the people decided... And this ain't make no sense to no fucking body. Nobody. 
Nobody. What happens when people feel like, no, that could have been us and you fucked over one of ours and this ain't right. There was some things said about how to witness Sean Kelly, whose story was that Kelsey did the shit. The prosecution talked to him Saturday. He didn't even shake the defense motherfucking hand when he came up in there. Now all of a sudden, Tori flailed in a gun and he saw him with it. Okay. Okay. There were some things said about the deal that got turned down. We're Rock Nation. What? So. Well, you guys, <clears throat> I'm finna get up off of here. And again, I'm not standing for Tory or Megan. I'm standing for for the truth and for justice. And um, I hope he get he um, win his appeal. And Kelsey, her lying ass should be in jail as fucking well with her man or her piece of that she was fucking. So I gotta go. And. Protect black women and protect black men. But today, black man was not protected. Black man was not protected at all. So, as I always end my content with, sometimes life is hard, sometimes it's good. But put your faith in God. He will see you through. I love you. God loves you, and I hope you love yourself even more. Keep it in mind, it would get greater later. Subscribe, like, and share. And I will catch y'all on a, another one.